It's your favorite YouTube dealer. We've been checking out a little bit of comedy alongside the music. And Jimmy O. Yang been fire lately, so we're going to check this one out. It's him getting roasted Started by his parents. after I did. Because he was like, it's so easy, you can do it. I can. Okay. I'm like, that, fine. If you think my life's so easy, why don't you go to some open call auditions and you understand how hard it is, how much rejection I face every day at my job. He was like, okay. <laughs> And he went to all these auditions, and he started booking everything. <laughs> it's a true story. He's, he got on this show in China, in mainland China, called Little Daddy, Xiao Baba. Half a billion people watched that show. <laughs> it's like the Big Bang Theory of China, and Richard blew up. And he was like, this is easy, I don't know. <laughs> My plan completely backfired. And my aunt in Shanghai, she watched the show, and she'll call the house in LA, and she's like, congratulations, Richard. You're such a good actor. Did your son teach you how to act? And he's like, no, no, I'm a natural. <laughs> oh, that's very good. You and your son, same business, you know? You two are very funny. He's like, no, no, Jimmy's are not a funny. <laughs> And I'm like, that, that's bullshit, okay? You, you got one good role, good for you, I'm happy for you. But you're not a real actor yet. Real actors, we gotta cry, we gotta laugh. Do you even know how to cry in front of a camera? He was like, yes, I just think about how much you suck at ping pong. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Shots fired. Yo. Needless to say, I grew up with low self-esteem because I was raised by Asian parents. My dad's not even the worst, my mom's much worse. Have you guys ever hung out with old Asian ladies? Old Asian ladies will tell you exactly what the fuck is wrong with your face. Facts! As Facts. if they're trying to do you a favor. Yo. I go to my mom's house, the first thing she says, she's like, Jimmy, oh yo. There's no lies, it's very, up front. I, I love it though. Why is your face so fat? Your clothes look homeless. And your hair. Oh, yeah. It's a gay. Sometimes it's like embarrassing for me to go hang out with my mom, you know? Because he plays the bro, the, he does the, I mean, obviously, but the broken English, he does so well yo that's it's crazy when he said that because that's actually true at least in my experience in my experience it is very straightforward hey, listen this is what i'm thinking this is what i'm no my i'm just letting you know i'm just letting you know because asian people we just got a different custom you know like my mom when she goes shopping she doesn't buy shit she needs she just buys shit because it's a good deal <laughs> i i brought i one time i brought a full full price shirt home twenty dollars and she was like was it a full price no it's a bad deal I was like, Mom, it's only 20 bucks. He's like, yes, $20 if you're stupid. <laughs> she goes to Ross and she freaks out because everything is a great deal. She's like, Jimmy, you should buy this. You should buy This is a good deal. This is a good deal. I'm like, Mom, that's a double XL shirt, okay? <laughs> and it says Obey on it. I'm not going to fucking wear that. <laughs> and she's like, it's okay, 50% off. Someday it will fit, okay? <laughs> If you want a good deal, you follow the old Asian people, right? You go to Costco, you see a sea of old Asian people because you know everyone's getting a great deal. Nobody's getting ripped off. You go to Whole Foods, never seen one old Asian motherfucker in my life. <laughs> hey, the F this place, bro. They ain't, nah. That shit. I grew up very stereotypically, man. I didn't play basketball, football. I grew up playing ping pong. Competitively. That was a serious national sport back home, man. You know, I didn't go to any like fun summer camp, space camp. My dad sent me to a ping pong training camp in Guangzhou, China. I almost died. It was a hundred kids competing for one spot on the national team. It was basically Fortnite with ping pong paddles. We took that shit seriously, though. My dad would take me to every practice, every tournament game, and he always tried to give me a pep talk before every game. But you know Asian parents, they're way too honest. So every pep talk just turned into an insult. <laughs> like, he would come up to me and be like, Jimmy, Jimmy, 
You're going to play well, okay? Even though you're slow? Even though you're weak? And you suck? He's like, listen, we just want to acknowledge the, 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 the stuff, you know, but we can overcome this. Okay, this is great. And he would just walk away. I was very good at math. That's a big Asian stereotype. I think there's some truth to that, not because of some weird genetic thing, just because our parents care so much more about mathematics and academics, right? You guys seen it? You guys seen those like Kumon Learning Centers and those strip malls, right? Right? Kumon Yo. Learning Centers, for you guys that don't know, are basically detention camps for young Asian children. <laughs> It is wild, though, because I've spoken with, with somebody that I, I, I've hung out with a while back that lived the majority of their life up until, I want to say, their 30s, I think, in China and grew up there. And, and when we explained our upbringings in school, it was vastly different. It, it, I, it's, it's literally night and day. It's such a different experience. You can tell that place is kind of fucked up by the look of its logo. <laughs> Because it's supposed to be a smiley face, but it's not really smiling. It's just like, man. Man. I don't know why I made that sound. My parents were way too cheap to send me to Kumon. They got a different strategy. They never let me use a calculator until I turned 15, so I can work on my brain function. That's an old school Chinese strategy. You know, so when I turned 15, it was a very special occasion. It was basically my quinceanera. <laughs> My dad just gave me a TI-83+. plus. There you go. And he looked me in the eyes, and he was like, you're a woman now, OK? <laughs> but when you're a kid, when your parents tell you you can't do something, what do you do? You rebel, right? So when I was 14 years old, I stole my brother's calculator. I stole Roy Rogers' calculator. <laughs> and I locked myself in my room, and I started rebelling. I started doing math homework. Other kids were like fucking around with like alcohol and drugs. I was fucking up some problems, you know? He's like, yo, I got this calculator. I was just punching in numbers. I was like, oh man, this feels great, you know? It's so wrong. It's awesome. My dad was pissed. He was knocking the other side of the door. He doesn't like locked doors in the house. And he was screaming. He was like, Jimmy, Jimmy, what are you doing inside? Come out right now. I know you're using a calculator. Come out right now. I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. And he unlocked the door and he came in. I went into full panic mode, so I just threw away the calculator and I pulled out my pants. I was like, Dad, I was just jerking off. Cause that's and he came in and he looked at me and then he looked at the math homework. And he was like, good, good, very good, very good. Very good. You must have really like a mask. That's good. That's good. Keep it up. I'm inspired. There's nothing, there's nothing that will make your Asian father more proud than to see his son jerk off to his math homework. Yo, this number seven looking good right now, but that number nine, bro. Oh, the way that it used to be a six, but it flipped. Woo. All right. Uh, this, yo, listen, I like Jimmy O. Yang. I like checking out some of the stand up comedy stuff. If y'all want more clips like this, comment down below. Smash that like button so I know that it's something that you guys want. Subscribe if you knew. All the good things. I'll catch you next video, homies.